Hello, welcome to any electronics. We learned about unbiased PN junction diodes in our previous video. The biased PN junction diode is introduced along with the IV characteristics for it in this episode. A forward bias is produced when the anode, or P side, of the PN junction diode is connected to the positive terminal of the DC source and the cathode, or N side, is connected to the negative terminal of the DC source. Similar to the anode and cathode of the PN junction diode being connected to the negative terminal and positive terminal, respectively, of the DC source, the whole circuit is called reverse bias. Let us now examine the behavior and characteristics of a PN junction diode in forward and reverse bias. DC source or the battery, force electrons and holes to flow towards the junction while the diode is connected in forward bias. If the source voltage is less than the barrier potential, the free electrons will not be able to penetrate the depletion layer. The electrons will first enter the depletion region, which will be pushed back by the ions towards the N region. As a result, no current will flow through the diode. When the source voltage is greater than the barrier potential, the free electrons will have enough energy to cross the barrier potential. In order to understand this concept better, Let's look at what happens to a free electron as it travels through the circuit. If the source voltage of the silicon diode is greater than 0.7 volts, a free electron gain enough energy to penetrate the depletion region and enter the P region. In the P region, this free electron recombines with a hole and becomes a valence electron. The valence electron will be attracted by the next hole and recombine once more. A hole appears from the point where the electron migrates. Until it reaches the positive side of the source, the process will continue. All of the free electrons inside the diode are experiencing the same process, so there will be a continuous flow of current because all of them will be traveling the same path. The direction of the current is from P side to N side. In electronics, the diode is symbolized by an arrow because of this reason. The direction of the arrow represents the flow of current. Let's see what happens when the same diode is connected in reverse bias. Let me ask you a question before moving forward. Let's pause the video here and comment on what you are thinking if you don't know this. In reverse bias, the diode's P side is connected to the negative side of the source and the N side is connected to the positive side. Increasing the source voltage will cause the holes to be attracted to the negative side of the source terminal, and the electrons to be attracted to the positive side. By forming new ions in the depletion region, the barrier potential increases, pushing holes and electrons towards the negative and positive sides of the source terminal. Therefore, it will increase the width of the barrier potential. Increased source voltage will widen the barrier potential. As a result, we can determine the width of the depletion region directly proportional to the source voltage. Once the barrier potential equals the applied constant reverse bias voltage, the width of the depletion region stops increasing. As a result, electrons and holes cease to move towards the source terminals. However, the reverse bias voltage cannot be increased beyond the maximum allowed voltage rating specified by the manufacturer. When the reverse bias voltage crosses the maximum allowable prescribed voltage and the diode is not in use, it breaks down. It is referred to as the breakdown voltage. Manufacturers provide information on the breakdown voltage of their diodes in their respective data sheets. The breakdown voltages and additional insights will be explored in the Zener diode section. So please don't forget to subscribe to any electronics to get the notification when the new video is released. While the source voltage is lower than the breakdown voltage, the depletion region resists the movement of the charge carriers. So in ideal conditions, we shouldn't be able to see any current flow through the diode circuit. However, we can still observe a small current flowing through the diode circuit in reverse direction. This minor current flow is caused by thermal energy. Our previous video demonstrated that thermal energy is the reason for the creation of free electrons and holes. 
We have also learned that the minority carriers in the P-side terminal are electrons and holes are at the N-side terminal. So a few minority carrier exists on both sides of the junction. But most of them recombines with majority carriers, only a few still exist in the depletion region which cannot recombine. Assume one electron and one hole have been produced in depletion region due to the thermal energy. Free electron is pushed towards the N side of the terminal of the depletion region, while holes move towards the P side of the terminal. The electron can now enter the diode from left and recombine with the same hole. In the presence of the thermal energy, many free electrons and holes form and the process continue, resulting in a small current flow from the N side to the P side of the diode. As it's produced by the minority carriers of the diode, this reverse current is called minority carrier current. As the number of generating holes and electrons will remain constant inside the diode, with increased thermal energy the magnitude of the current cannot increase and hence it is also called reverse saturation current IS, is the abbreviation for reverse saturation current. We all know that finding a perfect entity is difficult. The same is true for diodes. Due to imperfections and surface impurities, a small current flow has also been observed through the surface and is called surface leakage current. Therefore, we need to understand the characteristics of forward and reverse bias. Using a voltmeter to measure the voltage, an ammeter for measuring the current, and a diode current controller, which is a resistor for controlling the current, we can understand the forward bias characteristics. We can now plot the diode current ID and the diode voltage VD. Remember what we learned when the diode is in forward bias. Due to the source voltage being lower than the diode's barrier potential, the current flow is almost zero. A very small change in source voltage leads to the diode's current rapidly rising as the source voltage crosses the barrier potential of the diode. The free electrons have gained enough energy to break through the diode's barrier potential and started recombining with the holes. Notice that the voltage region from where the current began to increase rapidly is called the knee voltage of the diode. That voltage is symbolized by VK. Diodes made of silicon have a knee voltage of approximately 0.7 volts, while germanium diodes have a knee voltage of approximately 0.3 volts. This is referred to as forward bias characteristics of the diode. An ideal diode has the following forward characteristics curve. We can understand the PN junction diode and forward bias can act as a closed switch by understanding its forward characteristic curve. What remains now is to comprehend the PN junction diode reverse bias characteristic curve. An increase of source voltage below the breakdown voltage is the increase in depletion region. This means that the diode acts as an insulator and no current passes through it. Once the source voltage crossed the breakdown voltage threshold, the diode broke down, causing a huge current to flow. An ideal diode has the following reverse characteristic curve. Understanding a PN junction diode's reverse characteristic curve can help us understand its action as an open switch and reverse bias. We will explore in detail in our next episode, while we understand Zener diodes, what happens when the source voltage exceeds the breakdown voltage. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section. We will answer them as best we can. Don't forget to follow us on other social media platforms for queries and updates. Subscribing to any electronics will ensure that you never miss a video update. Thank you.